right now. So I have stayed up, doubled down, tripled down in the last four months. I've had so much productivity. This COVID has not stopped me at all. Actually. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Don. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning, Desiree. How are you doing today? Yeah. Good, thank you. I agree. I, I think it's a great time to, to Good. Really Just trying yourself. to get organized. <laughs> is that something you're listening to? Or is that, I was wondering who that voice yeah, was. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I was listening to, to a, a, a deal-making live event, but I'm re-listening to, to some of the video. Dawn, will you have a few minutes after the Take deal? It? Dawn, after the yep. meeting. Okay, great. Thank you. I see you're all camera ready, all your makeup. And <laughs> I always get camera ready. That was something that, um, yeah, I. It, it's my farm roots, apparently, <laughs> according to my kids. <laughs> they said, you can tell we're country people because we dress up to go out. <laughs> we, we, we go to town, we change our clothes and dress up and put makeup on. <laughs> We used to dress up to go ride on an airplane, you know. Yeah, exactly. Now people go in their pajamas sometimes. So I, yeah, so I get camera ready every time I'm going on a Zoom. So I plan my days around, like you, like, and so if I'm going to be on Zooms, then that's when I'll plan my day out. And if I'm not, then I will not put on makeup because that takes time. <laughs> It does take time, and I, I think it just we get very comfortable when we are home, especially when we're working from home, because you think, okay, you're not going anywhere, and like so, it's yeah, you, that type of thing. So, I and also, that. yeah, just going, just um, like even to go out to the work in the garden, it's like, well, I don't want to do that after I get a shower. <laughs> Take a walk to work in the garden. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah, do you put makeup on to go work in the garden? No, no, I, but I don't want to, I don't want to, like, if I have to go out after again, like, in between, like, so this afternoon, I'm not going to go out and work in my garden. I'll save that for, like, a day that I'm not doing something after or whatever. Makes sense. Good, makes sense. Thank you, thank you, thank you, ladies. Good morning, uh, Patty, and good morning. Good morning. Naomi, Naomi, and, and Andrea, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? We're great. Great. Yes, I was doing great. Well, you got your makeup yeah. on, too. You're ready with <laughs> Did I miss the memo? <laughs> All right. So, so I'm glad that you ladies um, knew to come on. We had a problem with Infusionsoft. I don't know whether um, you've heard of this before, but sometimes they'll do Infusionsoft, like other email applications like Entreport or whatever, they go through this engagement process. They check and see how many of your community has been engaged. If they don't have a certain percentage or have engaged, like they say 40 days, then they want to stop all broadcast. Was last night when we were ready to send this out, we weren't able to send it out. So this morning they sent me the email again to re-engage, which is a problem, it's problematic. And I think sometimes people agree for a lifetime you know, membership. We used to have lifetime memberships, so they have a do annual responses. So they don't expect them, I don't expect them for every day of their lifetime to open up every email. But when they see that they have it open up an email, they classify them as unengaged. And they, and they want you to delete the unengaged people, which is not what we want to do. So we're constantly in the battle with that. Just giving you a heads up if it ever happens to you, you'll know, okay, that's the way it's about being unengaged. And especially when you have a large list, like you had a list of 53,000 people and now it's down to like 21 or something like that because of them deleting people that had not been engaged, which is we're fighting for that because that's not really, that's not what we signed up for and that's not really the right to delete our contacts. But yeah. anyway, so but you know that every Tuesday at 10, I'll be here. So save that email or save the link so that if you ever, if I never, if I didn't get a chance to send you a reminder, you always know that we're here. And if something happens for some reason, I think only once I was in a car accident or something like that, um, then still come on and still share. It's a perfect opportunity for you guys to network and to brainstorm among yourselves. But if I know that I'm going to be someplace and I always will have somebody else come in or we'll make it, I'll let you know. Okay. So that's what this one thing you can count on. And I put it in my calendar, like you sent an email or something that said to put it into your calendar as a recurring event. So it's in my calendar. So it pops up a reminder in the corner of my computer. And then um, I can just go in my calendar and click the link. So yeah, that's, that's really good. A nice that's tip. Good <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a great, it's a great tip because it's a, 
I have to do that with my certain things because otherwise you forget or you just, you don't, the best thing you have to remember right now, especially when you have the automation tools, the tools that remind you, then that's just worth it. Okay, so great. So what's been happening this week? What's everyone working on? Yes. I'll start. Um, oh. Go ahead. Okay, I um, was working on my newsletter. So my daughter has, um, she sent, I had a meeting with her this morning and she showed me what she has written up so far and, uh, or not written up, but um, formatted so far. And uh, so we're doing it in a little bit longer form in a magazine type of format. And so she showed that to me this morning and so it's shaping up pretty good. Do and I had her edit you something. Share it with us. Do you want to share with us some positive feedback? Um, Are you ready yet or no? I yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> um, just yet. Um, okay. Yeah, it's not quite finished. And... Well, it just doesn't be quite finished. And the reason why you, what you just triggered with me when you said long form, you no. Know, so I just want to make sure that it's not too long. And the reason yeah. is that people. <clears throat> people really don't are not reading a lot of long things so instead of something yeah like, it's okay. it's um broken up into little sections so that people can scan and read what they want so if they want to see a podcast then it's in the podcast so it's a magazine form that way and so our my my newsletter was like that as well and i've had some really good feedback about that where people are excited to get my email or my newsletter and so um it is the same format basically the same format and with pictures and so it's uh you know it's just a flip and read like you know a hundred so words here you or the pages you can flip the pages actually able to flip i pages. i'm next? not sure because right now it doesn't look like that but well, so um that's what i you change in sections and sections then yeah, so it's it's in sections. It's all, but we couldn't do that on the the on Mailchimp without like signing up for something, and then it still wouldn't be quite the same. It would just look like an email, and I didn't want it to do, just look like an email. I wanted it to look like a newsletter, and have like all the little components, and people can pick and choose what they want to read, and so they don't have to read everything. They can look at the little title and you know, what we're working on or like what we're reading or things like that. So if they're looking for that, then that's what they're going to do. But it also enables us to have people come in, um, to have like little guest posts or, or um, uh, spotlight a business within our business or within our community mm -hmm. and to build community that way. And so that was part of why we wanted to expand it into a little bit longer form is so that we can spotlight people. And so the podcasts are doing that. And in that podcast section, it spotlighted basically two people in our community that are working with real estate investors and stuff. So, okay. so that was, that was the purpose of doing it longer for form, but each section is not longer form. Okay. All right. So immediately your section <coughs> about how many sections you have and hopefully it's you no know, five maximum six sections sections because that's mm -hmm. then that just kind of keep that in mind like how many sections you're actually going to have i love the fact that you have the audio which is a podcast <coughs> um if you have a video that's awesome as well but then information and i love the fact that you have somebody else a guest writer or a guest spotlight because like we talked about that brings that person in and that person should be sharing that newsletter as well because they're a part of it so i see yeah. that now would be nice to bring in a um an affiliate maybe at the end like you know good mm -hmm. to know or, you know my best choice this month or my favorite pick or whatever you want to share with it and that mm -hmm. would be an affiliate and that we can monetize that as well yeah yeah and that's where we're growing to so we just okay. keep changing it okay. but thank you yeah yeah awesome great congratulations well we can't wait Were you ready to share it with us okay yep. okay all right then jennifer what have you been up to this week that's a pretty picture you have up there yeah, but I can't get my, I keep coming through it. I don't know how to make it so I don't come through it or not come through it or whatever. I have to figure that one out. Um, anyway, uh, I've uh, been still working on getting all the documents for the refi for the one property, um, attending this deal making multifamily live event, which was awesome, uh, connecting up with some of those people to follow up to start building my team. 
um, working on um, setting a schedule that like like doing like six podcasts every day. I haven't done it yet, but just like, okay, these are the days I'm going to sit and do those uh, mm -hmm. so that I can start posting them. Uh, working in there that I can sit down and write an article a week, hopefully, like, like you said, that would re go off one of the podcasts so the podcast can go off of the article to help support each other or, or share the content. Um, so I'm just working on, on that schedule and things. And um, since I've gotten this other stuff off my back, and then my goal is getting on LinkedIn this week and getting that set up and um, just starting to continue to organize that stuff and move forward on this because I want to move faster than I have because I put my clients before me. So I'm working on putting me before my clients. Sounds good. Sounds good. You know, that sometimes that's, you know, sometimes the reality is, is that we have to still communicate with our clients and give them so much time. But I find when that happens to me, I just kind of say, okay, I have an hour or I have two hours a week, like the Wednesday morning from, you know, eight to 10 is my, business time, my time, and I just shut the phones off and I make sure that I do that and just put it on that reoccurring calendar, you know, as well, because otherwise you do, you get involved in your day, you start answering emails, you start answering phone calls, and then before you know, you haven't had a time, or I'll do it in the evening, maybe a certain evening, I'll say that, you know, this is what I'm going to do for this evening, and sometimes it's just getting in the habit, you start for once a week, for so many weeks, and then it gets time you catch up. So just start with, you know, one, one pod here, heard that six podcast, start with one podcast, one article and get it, get that going and repurpose that. Then what happens too, is that make sure you put all the, uh, the little, the missing links where as somebody can comp opt in for something that like that free report we talked about last week, which I'll elaborate on more again, or something that's a low, get them into your database. Once you find that, once you have that, once you hear that cha-ching, either for a something you sold or you see another opt-in, that in itself motivates you. We all are solopreneurs for the most part, even if you have teams, and motivation is key. We had to not forget that that's a key ingredient to us being able to move forward in our businesses is being motivated. And what motivates us more is a response from something that we do, an action that we take. You know, so no matter how small it is, you know, this really make sure that that's what you're doing, getting something out there that will get that response. That's fuel for most of our fires. Like if we just get responses and people say it's great and people opt in or they want to attend, then that keeps us going, you know, and that gives us reason to go. So you're in the right track. Just take this. One well, it, but it is taking the time and acknowledging, okay, you've done something. Cause I just get something done. It's okay. I've got it done. I got to move on. It's just like, no dinner for, it's a win. You got it. Done, you know, <laughs> yay! I finished it. Let you know. And, and so it is like you said. Every little, it's like, hey, you did something. Like I on this thing, on the event, I connected with people, and they needed stuff, and so I got them the stuff before the event ended, which is which is a change or a progress for me. It's like Jennifer, that's a win. Yay! You did it. You got it done. You hooked up with some people. Some people have responded to me already, so now I need to follow up with them. So that's to me, it's like that's progress. Yeah. You know, you go to these events, you say you're going to hook up with these people, and then nothing ever happens. So, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah, that is. Those are wins. I mean, those are big wins because, you don't, you know, psychologically, we need to know that what we're doing is making some difference, you know, not only for us and our bank accounts, but for other people that we're serving. You know, that right. they, they, they acknowledge it, they respect it, they like it. That's huge. You know, so that's enough to keep us going through those trials and tribulations <laughs> right. when we're not, you know, going through that valley. So, yes, Ooh. now celebrate yourselves, ladies. You guys, ladies are showing up. I celebrate you just for showing up, period. So, you don't know how many hundreds of women have taken this program that could be here today. They're not. So you, you are. So that's good. So, Patty, what have you been up to? Um, <laughs> a lot, actually. <laughs> good. Uh, I... I finished my book and I sent it back to the writer, the author, and he loved it. So I was very excited about that. So we're going to start to get into the publishing phase. But I've also been um, working on my website and um, I've actually read some really good books and I'm uh, writing an <laughs> ebook that I'm hoping to sell on my website. And I've been working with, um, the, this guy, and he's giving me some ideas of how to do that, like incorporating videos and, you know, just, so I, I think it's, it's just now a matter of putting it all together. So it's a, it's a lot of work. So it's good. I say, so you got your, your book, your volume is done. Congratulations. So now you have this thing about the marketing too, right? You had to market the yeah. book to sell it. Yeah, right? so have, you, have, yeah. you, have you guys talked about creating a marketing plan or what your thoughts are? Um, yeah, we, no, we haven't done that yet because he's still like fine-tuning the writing, 
but I've been working with somebody else about marketing. So we're, we're working on that. So we're getting a plan together. Okay. Well, we'll be curious to um, hear your marketing plan. You know, so that's that way if we have any feedback or just, just put okay. a question, anything okay. we can incorporate and assist you with, because that's, um, that's going to be huge. Um, so the, with the product, your website, who's doing your website? You're doing it yourself? I am doing it myself, okay. um, but I have a template. So okay. it's, a, it's a template. It's like where you add videos. And so hopefully I can do all that. What Let's platform see. are you using? What platform? What? What platform uh, are you using? Is I'm using, a, 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 I'm trying a funnel platform, a sales funnel platform. So we'll see that, but it's very expensive monthly. So I have, to, I have a free um, two weeks trial period and then you have to start paying for it. So we'll see what happens if I can get a lot of it done in the next you know, week or so. What, which one is that that you're using? Cause I, I've been hearing about the sales funnels for you know, a while, but I haven't looked into it, but I just remember um, being told by somebody who was doing it early on, maybe before they had, really really good platforms built, you know, when it was kind of newer, that it was like taking a very long time for her and her team to put it together. And so, so many variables, quite complicated. And so I had to on that route, you know? It's it's very complicated. Yeah, there's a lot to put together. So I'll I'll test it out and I'll tell you guys about it, but it's complicated. Yeah, I just wanted to know the name so I could kind of look at it before, because I'm about to launch my website, but I feel like I should have done more of a, a funnel system, you know, so that, that so it could be fed from any lives I do and stuff like that. I'm missing yeah. the element, you know, yeah. the yeah. capturing. Yeah, so it's a, it's a sales funnel, but um, yeah, I don't, I've just started. I just really just started. So I have to like sit there and, and figure it out. But there's, it is complicated. There's a lot to do. So well, a lot of people uh, recommend, and, and it's this uh, good feedback thing I mentioned to you that I started with click funnels, and I must have bought it um, six weeks, maybe two months ago, and I still haven't, because it's very, very complicated. And I was advised not to do it for quite a few times because it's really designed for businesses that are really up and going. If you're starting out, as uh-huh. a business, they say it's an overkill because of the fact that what it is, I mean, really sales funnels, and it's a lot of what we have actually talked about, believe it or not, it's just a way that, and then what happens at two also, when you're just starting out, a lot of templates are the same, so people immediately recognize it as, yeah. you know, one of click funnels, this is one of this one or that one, I don't know which one you're using, but it's recognizable. So what many times they suggest is that if you have a website like Andrea, because what a click funnel does is that it takes a, a lead when somebody clicks on something, you know, mm-hmm. like, another email and they click on that response where does it go well one place it goes to is should be your crm from that crm you get and you still have to have a crm and all those good things with the click funnels you still have to have your your financial um your you know your merchant accounts and so forth so it doesn't give you everything you still have to have other things so mm-hmm. what it does is it takes the person in there puts it into your crm and then it generates an autoresponder that says great fantastic here's this here's that and so forth once you do that then when that person has certain time to respond or to get it, then it sends them a reminder, you know, a reminder that, okay, you know, um, you know, you, you, you look, you like this information, you didn't sign up and so forth. Here's something else. And it just basically tracks them and keeps tracking them as they go through a funnel. You start with a low, a free thing. We talked about the other day, like last week, free, something for free because they don't know you. They don't know they, they don't know you. So it's something for free. You get them into your database. Once they enter your database and you offer them something for a low price, you know, a $9.99 or a no-brainer type of price, something really, really low for them to do it. Once they go into that part of it, once they purchase, once they spent money with you, then it's very, very high likely that they will upgrade with you. If they've invested even a dollar with you, then they will, then they will, you've gotten their attention because they'll start accepting your emails. They feel like they've committed. So it's just kind of a psychological commitment. So even that's why you see some of these big programs offer something for a dollar or for ten dollars. You wonder like why they even do that because they just want some a no brainer to get that lead into their box. It's less expensive than paying for Facebook ads or Google ads and so forth. Right. It's a less expensive option. So if I send out an email to everybody that for one dollar I'm going to give you you know five hour training with Andrea for free. Yeah. You learn how to invest with no money. How many people do you think will respond to that? A lot of people just for the heck of it, for $1, it's like a no-brainer. They may not even show up, but they would still do it. 
but then I have that leads of engaged people. Now, you know, I can send them something like, okay, well, great. If you'd like to see presented now, then why don't you actually go on to the next program? Why don't you actually go to her a live event or go to her free webinar, her webinar, you know, where she's going to explain the next steps or something like that. Then you take them to a, again, a low digit, a low price point and a higher price point and bleed them up to your masterminds or to your larger price points. The funnel is just moving people through a chain of reactions. You can do it. Um, you know, again, even like for me, I've had this for almost two months and I had someone that I had hired to do it and he's been sick and that's why I haven't gotten my Power 7 sales fund completely. And I should just, just did it myself. But again, I didn't want to spend the time figuring that out and doing it out. I could still do it through the emails. So I really, and when I was buying it, when I buy it before, people were saying this really for businesses that are you know, really scaling, that have been seasoned for, it's kind of heavy duty for a person that's starting. So I would just, you know, would, you've invested into it, see how it works out for you. It's not going to hurt you. It's just that it's just, it's just not, it's not, it's could be an overkill for it's like infusion soft would be an overkill for someone starting a business because of all the different things that they have it's not that it won't hurt will hurt you you can grow into it like we did but it's it's the difference yeah i think that um because it's like a two-week free trial is maybe don't start it until you have all of your like video and your book or whatever you're selling and then start the free trial and see where that goes so it's it is for somebody like me who's starting up, but not if you already have your business running where I could do a lot of, I have the time to do like a lot of the initial stuff. If you want to sell like today and make money today, no, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. I can wait two weeks or I can wait a month. Okay. Well, just again, see how it works. There's just different ways to go. But I think like for Andrea, if you were having a website, um, you, but how you do that is you direct the traffic to a certain page on your website. Mm -hmm. you know, again, people have been doing for years, which means that's the page that only talks about that product program or service. And they either, and you have your videos there, or you'll have your testimonials there, or you'll have your audio there, you'll have your opt-in there. When they opt in, then they get an email saying, thank you so much, this is the next step, whether it's their, you know, their program or whether it's a, you know, the Zoom link or whatever the next step would be. And you can keep working them through your CRM system. So, you know, what CRM system are you using now, Andrea? So I haven't bought it because it's really expensive. Um, and then I was referred to another one that turned out to be, must be like an affiliate partnership for that same one. So it's called ARIO Black Book. Mm -hmm. And then our newest chapter leader um, who did a training for Ren named um, Mercedes Torres, you should look her up. She's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And um, they, she kept saying, oh, you got to do ARIO.solutions. Or she didn't say you got to do it. She said, that's what I use. And since she has it, her investing very, very laser focused and like a system and a machine that's very well oiled. Of course, I wanted to know what CRM she was using because she does a lot of follow up automatic stuff like that. And she said ario.solutions. And when I went in there, it's black, it's ario black book, but it's just labeled as ario.solutions, which is her husband's. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, kind of smart. But anyways, uh, it's, the problem is that, that there's a very large, um, it's not like you can start with a free trial and then go into a monthly thing. They want thousands up front. And I'm just a little gun shy with the commitment because even though I know that's who I want to go to, but my assets are, my liquid, I'm not that liquid right now. I mean, I've got four projects going and you know, one, I just got a full price offer on La Colina, by the way, that one that I did. Yeah. Yeah. Million, million one. And, and no one thought I'd get a million one. And I got a million 95, which was my um, asking price. And I'm actually working on the contract right now. Woo! You know, very clean. They really love it. And so that's really exciting. And then that'll get me back on my feet because I'm spread a little thin. Mm -hmm. because I went way over on that project budget. But anyway, so that's the only reason I haven't really gone forward. It's just that um, I was, it was kind of like, do I want my new Mac? So my other, so I can actually do my work because it was the other one I was using was that bad. Or do I want to invest in the CRM for a couple grand? It was just like, oh, uh, you know, anyway. No, I don't know. I mean, I, you know, FutureSoft was like that in the beginning. They were really, really expensive as far as, a, you know, your buy-in, like 3,000 or whatever. And then they obviously yeah, that's that. Um, I don't, I personally, I wouldn't invest that into a CRM because I get, I don't know what they offer that you don't, that you can't get as far. What you really, really need is, again, I'm so small. That's kind of how I feel too. Like, I just exactly. need it, but I'm like, I know it's going to sit there and it's not going to be utilized all the way. You know, I know exactly. that. Exactly. 
I mean, because the thing is, that, I mean, the law will suggest if you have 50,000 or at least 20 or 30,000 contacts, then it kind of makes sense. But the thing is, is that there's so many other options that would you to figure out what you really need. Okay, you obviously need something to where your CRM, where you can get a web link, a web form. People put their first right. name, last name, email address, and be able to contact with that. You need that. You need an autoresponder, which almost all of them have that. And as soon as they sign up for something, they get an autoresponder. You can put them on schedule. I can get you scheduled an autoresponder today. I can schedule it for next Friday, for next Friday, next Friday. I can do it indefinitely. So you want to be able to get contact with them. You can create templates, which is your email templates and so forth, and then be able to right. schedule those. You want to okay. be able to... Um, you want to be able to, if you want affiliates, you can be able to add affiliates, which is not a big deal. Um, you want, what else? You want to be able to connect it with your shopping cart so that your transactions go through, your payments go through there. So you have a invoicing. And that's what you're mentioning. They kind of all, at this point, they pretty much, unless they all you get, you know, like MailChimp or something where it's like totally, you know, newbie stuff. It's, 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 they all do that, right? They all do that. They all do that. And the thing is, is that and you can customize it. You, but if you didn't want it to look like a MailChimp program or whatever, you just have someone come in and pay them $35 or whatever to customize something really slick for you. Like Dawn's, someone could come in and customize a really good newsletter, a really good something for you. You know, I'd find more value in putting that money into a magazine or something that has a longer shelf life. Behind the scenes, that's your admin. It's your money that only you know that you spent. Whereas yeah. if you just slick that cost, just straight dollars, I would get a, a slick magazine that is going to be on the shelf life forever and ever and ever and go viral. That'd be a much better investment if I had to choose between the two. You know, so you just need something that's functional, that's going to keep your contacts in place. And then when you get past the 50,000 people and you decide what you need more in your business that it's not offering, you know, then you can go up to it. But that's a really, really high buy-in for a CRM system. And there's so many other ones that are less. You know, even if it's not totally free, there's something else that left, like entrepreneurs and entrepreneur, entrepreneur or Kajabi or whatever. There's so much less, and they will all do. But even again, Mailchimp or what's the other one, whatever that will do, the basically the same thing. Yeah, the constant contact. Don't you think though it's in my best interest? Constant maybe to do? Hmm? I don't think constant contact is a CRM system. I think it's an email oh, system. Just mailing. They may have changed it, but. But Nika now is where they do the appointment scheduling, and now they're a CRM. Me and Nika have been talking about because we, me and Nika, have spent many hours talking about CRMs. And it, you know, I am slow to move when I don't feel confident in something, and when I'm sure, I'm sure. And it just that's one of those things where um, I'm really, you know, like I'm just on the fence. With I, I find I find it very. I find if I, if I was in your position, I would I would spend the money. For what people are going to see, what's going to bring you new clients, what's going to give you more visibility, more credibility, and revenue as opposed to that. That's a functionality. It's like your washing machine. Your clothes come out clean. It doesn't matter what kind of washing machine you wash it with. As long as they come out clean, then that's what you that's what you wear. That's what people see. So, okay. yeah, I mean, so I would just and that's and it's a lot. You're not talking about a couple hundred dollars. You're talking about a couple thousand dollars. Which even if you were even if you were liquid at this time, I wouldn't suggest putting it there now. Okay. You know, what about click funnels? Only because. Well, I, I, have, I, have, I have click funnels, ladies. I purchased click funnels. Let me just, I mean, just hang in there because I spent a couple of thousand dollars for it and I have not used it at all yet. Okay, okay. so it's another one of those things, again, that, you know, I could figure it out because obviously it's the same thing, but I haven't had the time. Do I want to take the time? So I hired someone, but now the person is, mother has been having surgery, so that's been slowed up. But it's a, it's a lot of information. And now I'm questioning because people say they have the same templates. So they're going to see, you're going to see the template probably but in the, in the, before the end of the week. But the template is the same as other people's templates, so immediately it looks like a sales page. You know, those look like you see. Yeah, the, like, we, we already videos, know. We uh, already know that those are sucking us in. You're right. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's kind of like okay, buy from me because you see two videos or three videos, and you see the testimonies, and you see the top, and you see it's the same format. There's nothing creative about it. There's nothing organic about it. There's nothing really engaging about it. And even the one that he sent, he showed me. I can show you our copy of the one that we have. He's giving me the outline, but to me, it doesn't move me at all. But you know, again, it's it's. It's, it's got to be something on the back end for it. So I would just hold off on that. I mean, like, really, just concentrate now on getting what you, well, I would say what's really important for you now is being able to get content that you can send out and people can opt in and build your list. That way you can sell them something next. So if you can create a free, like that one page, that, you know, that big thing we talked about last week for people, you can send out today, every single solitary day, different times of day, throughout your social media, send out once to your email list, hey, I got this great opportunity. They want you to be the first to know, whatever the case may be, for you to get this 
one tip sheet, one, I mean, I get more books and eBooks and free books. And, and again, I never really read them, but I still get them and download them because one day I may have nothing to do and I can read them. But, you know, something like that and get people in your list and then be able to send them like, I'm having a comp, you're having your Ask Andrea or you're having a free webinar. I mean, Patty, you're in a position to be able to go through a cycle of being able to, you know, site, uh, create a, a, a children's illustrative book, you know, as far as what the first step was, what the second step was, what the mm -hmm. third step is. I mean, it could be 10 steps. Remember how basic we talked about things need to be, you know, for mm -hmm. someone and just do a meetup. I mean, you don't need, I mean, do a, um, you know, Zoom, do a Zoom call. So if you have a list of people and you send them an email saying, this day and this time, I'm going to be sharing this information, how I participated in bringing this book to launch or whatever the part would be. You know, uh, for for uh, Jennifer, it could be the same thing of how to now in this changing in this changing time, like what protocols are still in place to be able to get the best tenant. I mean, all she needs to do is say something like that. And people will be on board. People are wondering what to do, how to avoid being, how to avoid it, um, having someone move in. Like someone's complained about having people move in and then taking advantage of that um, that new law that was like they can't evict them because of COVID. You can't evict anyone for so many days, 90 days, or whatever the new laws are. You know, how to avoid being trapped by the COVID concessions that's being made because now people are just moving from place to place knowing that people can't evict them for three to six months and then they'll leave and they go to the next place i mean so we come again i know i know i mean you, you know. oh my lord i know i know I'm so, <laughs> people are doing all kinds of things so people would love to know from someone like her how what to do or how to avoid that or how to screen against that you know things it could be very simple common sense to her but people would sign up for that in droves and all she has to do is get on the zoom for you know 40 minutes where she speaks and another 20 minutes where they can ask questions and answers and then she can now she's got captive audience of people that now she can upsell hey if you have a i was watching I'll show you just my screen. I have another computer going that I've been watching that I'm not watching it now, obviously, but from, I signed up for this Kane and Alyssa program and it was only like $97 for this week of, um, he's getting people to do things of that type. But anyway, it's just, and so I've been listening to it from seven to exercising. Seven. Pardon? The exercising? No, no, it's Kane and they're, he's getting them to respond, I guess, because they've got the, I don't know what he's doing. This, this is a, probably a break and he's getting people in break to respond. It's Kane and Alyssa. I signed up for all these different things just to see what people are doing. And, um, but his whole thing is an upsell. He, told, he got you $97. You think, okay, for three days of training, it's actually four or five, whatever it is. But he's, it's even like today's the first day I listened to it from seven o'clock in the morning. It's upsell, it's upsell, it's upsell. All he's doing, he's I say, like, how could he, he has almost 300 people. And all he's doing is like every time you turn, he gives you a little bit of content and then he's talking about an upsell and or he's getting people to do an exercise. So I'm, qual I'm qualifying the amount of content he's giving in this time. And it's like very little content, little nigga, nugget and there's more upsell, little nugget testimonies upsell. So I don't approve of that. And his upsells are to $100,000 package. So all he needs to do is have 10 people sign up for his upsell and he's got $2 million. Mm -hmm. But for him, it's worth it to spend a week five hours or four hours a day, you know, giving away nuggets and contents and promoting himself and what's it related to? I'm just curious. It's actually um business. It's just a business and it's it started and the thing is it's marketing. It's the same thing I'm telling you. The same thing. He talked to today he talked about um getting people to get in the free offer. Today the whole session was about getting the free offer, then getting people to do a low price offer, then you can move them up to the funnel, moving them up to your funnel. The exact same thing you already know. And again, I just listen to things. I want to see what other people are saying, but it's marketing. And it's the same information that you already have. Um, but I say that to say that you, everyone on this call could be offering something. Dawn could be offering something. And so get that opt-in, free gift, whatever that free gift is. And we'll go through that later. I mean, in a few minutes, if you want to detail it more. That opt-in, when they opt-in for that free gift, join me live. That's when you have the most impression right now is to be able to impress people by a live webinar or seminar or call or, or chat or whatever the case may be. From that, offer them something larger. That's what people are trained to, that's what people are used to, that's what people are engaged, they're engaged, they want you that they, they, uh, that identify their problem and you're the solution. It's the same thing we've been talking about. What do they need to know? What are they having a problem with? If you don't know what they're having a problem with, Google it. 
What are the problems with landlords right now during the pandemic? What are the problems with, you know, the artists? What is the problem? Where your avatar is, right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Just go into it and say, what is the problem with this right now? And you can solve that problem. I think there was still, I think I didn't talk to Nika on the line. Who else is Nika? Nika and Neombi. Let me just see where you're up to first and I can go back and, and get, dive deeper. Good morning. Nika or Neomi? Neombi? Uh -oh. Can you hear me or is it kind yes. of? I hear you. We hear you. Thank you. <clears throat> it's a little bit spotty, but. Um, Good morning, Nika. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's so choppy. Um, so I did another Facebook Live on Friday. I was so nerve wracking. <laughs> what did you, you talk about? Uh, it was you look really good. You look really pretty. Um, it was a continuation of the four design trends. So it was the first one. So then I'll do it. I think I'm just going to continuing it to be Friday, I suppose. Um, and, uh, but I need to set that and say that, but I don't know how to put um, a link ahead of time. Cause I, I keep referencing that like, you know, check back cause I'm going to put a link to my LinkedIn article because that way you can have pictures of the examples that I'm saying that I'm talking about, especially it's like, I'm talking about color. You know, it's kind of hard to say that whenever I'm just talking about it. You know what I mean? So, um, so in my article, I had uh, where it went to a link that showed like a movie color of the year or whatever, and, uh, and then the colors. And then um, I had one example of uh, Andrea and I's flip for the black and white theme that everybody's doing. Um, and so and then, I, and then I prefaced that too. I said, go check out our latest flip at the end that we completed. And so I made it two separate links though for people later um, in the Facebook. So I don't know if there's a, a nicer way to do that but anyway um i guess it still got the message across <laughs> like i linked this to my article i linked it to the back then you know you put the article uh, for, like, you put the article on linkedin as well yeah that's the only place i know to put it because i need to put photos easy and articles doesn't work for photos so i understand um, and i've been i've had my linkedin for so long and it helps linkedin then and that way i can have it in several different things if i'm already in facebook i don't want to just then have a Facebook only, you know, too. So, um, anyway, and then I finished my presentation for tomorrow, and then out of that, I was like, you know, going so much and putting so much information that then one of the points ended up being five other points, so I made another presentation of that, and <laughs> so now I have two okay. in the process of making the one, you know, okay. uh, but I made it just with the PowerPoint presentation. I mean, I suppose I could use that for maybe one of the opt-in things, um, or one of my articles, I don't know. I have to kind of figure that out, but I also need to figure out what my offer larger package would be. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so, all right. Let's, okay, so I'm, I'm making I'm making, I'm making, I'm making and looking into all that. All right, so I'm making note of what yes. you're saying in my mind. And so remind me when we finish with Naomi, we can go back, okay? Because it could be some of the same questions other people have, all right? I'll circle back with that. So to go through that steps with you really clear and, and precisely. All right. Okay. okay. Um, uh, yes. Niambi. Niambi. I mean, okay. Hey. There you go. Where are you with all that sunshine so early? I'm on my balcony getting my vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> Taking my meetings outside. Good. Yes, it's great. Um, so, I so what am I doing? This week I'll be working on my website for the property. I've been um, doing my mindful minutes, mm -hmm. which I've gotten a lot of interaction and engagement. It's been doing well. Um, where I'm stuck, where I need support is, um, I think, like Andrea had said when I'm not clear of a direction, I tend to pause. And I feel like I have many moving parts, which I do want to integrate some, somehow. Um, and I'm not clear of the strategy. So for instance, we had talked about monetizing the mindful minute, mindful meditation minute right away to get capital right away. Um, I'm willing to forego capital right away in order to find a plan, a long-term, maybe a longer term plan. Like once they do the <laughs> what's the big picture? And I don't, I'm not clear about my offering in terms of, okay, they have, there's a, a short-term or low-cost offering. 
there's a mid range, it's a high, or there's a, you know, after this one year, what's the next year? And I, I feel like I'm just, I have a lot of things going and I don't want to start and not be clear. It, it helps me to really have a plan. And that's where I'm kind of, you know, and then with all this new information, I'm like, okay, well, I can do a podcast. Wait a minute. No, I'll do the live. No, wait. No, I should be, and it's becoming a little, a little overwhelming. Not overwhelming, just not clear. So, um, that's where I'm at with it. Find, I, I would like to find a way to integrate all of my products and services and a long range, a longer range than, okay, for one month, I can make this much and then what, you know? Okay. When you're doing your mindful minutes, what's your response to that? Like, what's, do you have a number? Like, who's responding? And is it the same people or are there new people all the time? It, you know what? It's just like, I come on random. So my, so my, I have a very short term plan with that. I come on random and I'm going live and I do the meditation. So whoever catches me will come and they'll respond. And it's, a, I usually get anywhere from, I don't know, two, three to 500 views of it. The people that actually engage and comment are people that I know or know of me or in my general circle. They'll comment, oh, thank you. Oh, I've been, or they'll share it or, um, but it's, there's no call to action. It's simply just take a break, take a moment. So, um, and I, I appreciate that. So I'm a little reluctant to all of a sudden now pay me. Like, I feel like ooh, a little creepy about that. Yeah, don't feel like, okay. Excuse mm -hmm. okay. your engagement. Okay, so have we have, have I, is there anyone else in there I haven't talked to? Okay, so a couple things and I'm trying to figure out this. I happen to have my um, whiteboard down. I'm gonna bring it over here and see if you can see it. And I'll just kind of, and I can do it that way. If not, then I'll just do it. We'll talk it through. Can you see the board? It, it's a bit far away. Far. How about now? Uh, so far. Yeah. A little bit far. Yeah, that's better. Right. Like Depends this. on how big you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so the biggest thing is that. I think I mentioned to you this, I don't know, I, I've never demonstrated it this way, but let's just take, I'm going to use all of this. Let's think about, and either we can do it of one person as a, or I'll try to be a general so that all of you can, I think all of you will be able to learn out of the way. You have a lot of different products and programs and services. And one of the things that you do, say for example, in your own minds, in your own minds, let's move this everything out the way. If you, in your own minds, think about what's important to you right now. And right now, let's say for the next six months, between now and end of the year, because right now, this is what we're dealing with. And we don't know what, how things are going to change. So what's most important to you? To some people, it may be revenue. Mm -hmm. Okay, some people may want to be this building. And, and, and inevitably, all of this is going to be important, okay? I'm just saying, you now you have to start prioritizing it. Which one is most important to you? If you don't have any list at all, if you've got 10 people on your list, then this building will be more of a priority. If you have financial security for now, so the, the revenue may not be the most important thing. You may have this time to build up your program and so forth. So it could be this building. It could be also... The, it could also be getting more credibility, which means like maybe you know that the market you want to reach, I say, for example, Jennifer thought, I want to reach the more corporate offer. I want to reach maybe um, the, uh, the um, what's these home groups, like KB Homes or a, a corporation that's going to need to know that I have that clientele and credibility before engaging with me, hiring me to manage their property. So they think of it as a big, apartment complexes that are all over, like they do here in California's Oakwood Apartments. You know, they got, well, they used to have multiple buildings. They say she wanted that client, that, that clientele. So credibility is gonna be huge for her. 
then maybe it's visibility. Like for what Naomi is doing, the more visible she is, the more people that's going to subscribe to her program. Hers is a numbers program she's going to be doing. She's going to do a program that, you know, virtually. So she needs that visibility so she can get lots and lots of numbers to do that. They say very Nika. Nika needs, she wants a certain type of um, people that have homes, like either fix and flips, either investors, people like that have that so she can get her work, you know, done. So it depends what your packaging is and what you need more. So it can be visibility. So also think about what, but how I start with like what I want my day and my life to be like. You, I really want to do work from home. How many hours do you want to work? How many people do you want on your team? You know, how many, um, how much do you want to invest in this business? How much do you have to invest right now to get started with? You know, and then you decide, okay, what's most important to you? Then you take all your products. Now, this is like, for example, for us, um, we have the Power of Seven. We have the homework. And that has a membership. It has the signature properties. It has the host properties. It has the events. We have the Let's Talk Success. We have um, that involvement, I was involved with different companies and different uh, on the board of different organizations and so forth and so forth. This has the podcast and has the uh, slash videos. It has the magazine, has the magazine, has the live events. This had the live, South Power 7 had the live version. Now we have the virtual. And then I wanted to have the, um, the uh, product, create into a product. So, and then there's more and more and more, but you know, this, uh, I still have the, my investors, I still have the investor dinners and the investors. And so this, this, this goes on. So what I had to figure out for me, okay, what's important for me at this time? Like, well, so what's my end goal? My end goal is to be able to sell homework, you know, and then that way I can retire and do another project that I want to do. And within a specific period of time, two, three to five years. So I say, what is going to bring, that's my big goal is to sell. What's going to bring me to that goal? What's going to take me there? That's why you have to decide what's most important for you right now. You know, what's your big goal? Do you want to create a program that, again, you have maybe only one employee or two employees that's automated without you, or that's something you're going to be able to sell on automated just by going to your website and sell, or something you want to be active in, something you want to travel in, something you want to participate in. So it's like, how can I, in, in, how can I make this most valuable, the easiest? So what I did is I said to the power of seven, listen, to their membership. So this is the first last month we pulled the Power 7 into the membership program for homework. So now it's no longer a separate program, it'll be part of membership. And then we're gonna make it virtual so that will still be part of membership. And then that product will still be um, a benefit of the membership, they can buy that product. So, cause I know what I need to be able to do to sell homework is I need to be able to show that we've got um, a footprint worldwide We've got, we're generating revenue. It doesn't have to be a lot because companies that buy you don't really care about how much you're generating. They want to know you're generating something. They really want to know how you can scale. Their thought is that if we put, if we have $10 million and we put it into homework and she's able to do this with, you know, create a thousand, I don't know, a thousand people a month. If we put $10 million, she'll be able to create maybe 10,000 people a month. So that's what they're thinking about is the scale. So you got to think again what your big picture is and where you're going from that point on. What is your exit plan? This is my exit plan. And then again, I have a specific period of time, three to five years. So it's not the next 20 years. I don't have 20 years to do this. So then I say for this, let's talk success. 
Well, I don't have that. I do power seven one because I love it. It's my interaction with people, and I love being. I love doing it. I've been doing it, and I just love doing it. So that's part of a love that I can incorporate now with that, so it doesn't separate it. Then for the less top success, then why are we doing that? We're doing that because that's our million dollar plus clients, and we want to nurture that because of the fact that they could be potential investors. They could be potential partners for our signature homes, and they could be potential clients for our signature homes. They're the women that travel and that don't want to stay in the hotel, rather go to the same home, have a designated room and area, have their food delivered in advance, be able to give meetings, presentations, they want to have that home, home away from home. So they want to have that, and they'll pay for that because they have the money to afford to pay for that. So if it was $3,000 a month for them to come two or three times a month, it's worth it to them. Because if they were staying at a hotel, paying $300 a night for 10 nights, they still wouldn't have the luxury, the convenience, and the security, and the, all that. So that's why that community is important. And also, I can incorporate it. The podcast, I'm going to do the podcast series with one of the enterprising women, which is one of the organizations, affiliates, because I want be better connected with them, these women. And then I went, but we're going to do it virtually video. We'll do it on, on um, you know, on um, Zoom. So we'll have both the audio and the video. And then eventually, once we get it going, we're going to create it in the magazine. And I'm going to start with the magazine. And there's a little small-ish way you can do a small magazine on the Canva before I get to having another person doing the larger magazine. I just can't take any more projects at this time, but I want to do the magazine. Because again, it will go virtual. It'll give us a branding that we want. It'll brand homework. It'll brand the homes, the houses. It'll brand our host properties. People who come on as a host property, it'll brand that. And it'll, it'll, it'll promote our events. And then also we'll be, have the option for the more investors to get involved. Because we will start sharing our financials like uh, John D. Loomis did. We'll start sharing our financials. And then the live events, we'll do it together. So my thought was, if we want to be able to do that. So... That's why that makes sense for that. And that's how I can incorporate that. Our thought was when things had, before things closed out, to go to a city, let's say Seattle. We were going to contact a woman, a seven figure woman. We were going to interview the seven figure woman at her home or at a location. We were going to invite more people. She was invite people, we we're going to invite people that would then become members. So we could get investors and members. And we were going to, while we're in that city, announce that we were looking for host properties. So people that had host properties that were extra guest rooms and vacation rentals that wanted to rent it, we we're gonna invite them as well to come to this event that we're gonna have when we're gonna record the Let's Talk Success event. So we had host properties come. So from this, from going to that city, we're gonna to go to a different city every month. And so every month we were going to say, hey, we're going to come into Seattle, we're gonna interview Jane Doe, who's the founder of da 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 da. And this event we wanna invite, if we're also looking for host properties, you have a host property with a guest house, guest room, da 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 da, come with us, join us. Or if you wanna be a member, find out more about our programs, come join us. We were going to videotape that. We were going to do the, all, the, all, the podcast of her on the Let's Talk Success. So, and then we take that information and share it. So we'd have everything, so that one movement every month. So teachably, we're going to be at a different property in a different city. We were going to announce, oh, homework is going to Seattle this month. Homework is going to Atlanta next month. Homework is going to this month. So every month, we'd have host properties. We'd have members. We'd have potential investors. And we'd be interviewing a woman for our Less Talk Success program. And that was, was our plan to do that. But it all feeds back in to our bigger picture. There's no disconnect there. Now, some other things that I had that I wanted to do, but they have to be off the, you know, off the, off the charts right now. Because so what I say to you, so now that for you, think about what your big picture is, and then what are you going to do to feed into that? And if it doesn't feed into that right now, like, like, um, uh, like doing, what does feed into this is doing us more joint ventures. We're concentrating on doing a lot of joint ventures this month. You know, we've joint ventured with like four organizations so far. 
to get to get give more exposure. So we go into these cities, we have more people to engage with us and more people to help promote us. But there's some things that didn't I wanted to do, but it doesn't fall into doesn't feed this right now, doesn't feed this baby, doesn't feed this puppy right now. And I only have a three year probably left time to do that. So I got the rest of my life to do the other things. So, but you make those things, those podcasts, those videos, you can feed into that. So let me give you an example for you. So what's easy for you is to say, yes, there's all these different things. So what do you need most, each one of you? And I'm going to let you tell me what you need most, and I'll show you how you can get there. How, you know, and if you start, and don't feel that, you know, that it's going to be forever, because for now. we're talking about for now, for this month and for next month, but we, if you, I want you to be able to, re I want you to generate revenue this month. We have 20, 10 more days in this month or nine more days. There's no reason why you can't generate any kind of revenue. And that, that mindset of charging for people, charging people. As a business, what business do you know thrives without any revenue at all? It's just like it has to be. And it's a lead. Again, you're giving them something for free. They take it for free. Now you want to cycle to people who are really serious about it. And it's unfortunate. You're depriving the people that really want to get dive deep in it if you're giving them an opportunity. So for, I'm going to go down the list. Nika, what's your big thing right now? Like, what do you need most right now? And it doesn't have to be either one of these. Or it could be something different. You know, it could be peace of mind. It could be whatever it is. What do you need most right now? Revenue. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, Naomi, what do you need most right now? What's most important to you right now in this journey? Revenue. Okay, right now. Okay. And Patty? Revenue. Really? Okay. All right. And Jennifer? Revenue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. She's muted. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. I've got you. Um, I have a question for you before I answer that question. After revenue, it says something in building. What was the second thing? List building, which list building actually could bring, will bring you the revenue, but list building. Like some people just need to build their list. Oh, like list building. Okay. Um, I would say the most important thing for me right now is list building. Okay. Perfect. And? and understanding how to connect all the dots of everything. It's just so much. I, I, I can't prioritize it. We're trying to do the best. Dawn, what about you? Um, I'm going to go with the, uh, well, it's, it's having incoming, um, cash flow. Well, that too, but, um, I, so I could go, I could go with that, but also, uh, like, uh, re re referrals, referrals. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, hold on. So, hold on. so Dawn, you are referrals. So you need you need more credibility and more visibility. You need people to share your word. You need more. Okay. So yeah. Be so, and I have been getting some more lately. So it okay. it is starting, but yeah. Okay. All right. So okay, Naomi, you want to change? What do you want? Okay. Yeah, I want to change to credibility and visibility. Okay. Did I miss anybody? Everyone? Yes. We can now forever hold your peace. <laughs> All right. So this is how you do it. You can start. So take something, one thing for just this month, just for July, your hotter than July special, your whatever you want to call it for July. <laughs> What can you offer for free this July? So each one of you, I'm going to ask you to give me something. So Dawn, and I'm just, I'm just pull, I'm pulling you by what I, how the, you know, how the things are. What can you compose? What do you have that you can let, throw out there for free? I am currently working on a PDF list that is acronyms and definitions of, of, real estate investing terminology for new investors okay. because the people that I've been uh, working with lately are new investors. And so that is a PDF that I am doing as a service to people who 
are coming into real estate investing and don't know what an RTO is or a BBS is or what, like whatever. So that's what I am working on. And where, where do you, where are you on that list? Like how much do you I can need? give you the, I can give you one. I, I was going to do the same thing for my book and I ran into one recently and went, Ooh, this is, you know, I, this is a good copy and paste. So I'm happy to send that to you, hun. I would, I would love that. Yeah. Yes. I just ran into it coincidentally. Okay. Let me find out yeah. And so I have, I have a list currently because I came up with the idea last Thursday and so, and I've been working on my newsletter. So I do have a list of some of them. And then I have ones that I wrote down from Andrea's because it's different in Canada and the States. Uh -huh. So I wanted to include a few of those because people listen to podcasts from the States as well. So that's what I am working so on. Just say the top, top 10, but just, you just narrow it down so it doesn't have to be like every word in the world, but it's going to be the top 10 or top 20. Can you just stop like it? House hack. I think uh, use some of the new ones that people like that even the newer older investors are like, what's that? Well, we know what it is, but it's just this new terminology that everyone's using because of bigger pockets and HGTV and stuff. There's like, there's a few of those. Okay. So the, but my thing is, is that get it done. Okay. So like, you know, you can cap it at the top 10 or top 20, but let's say for example, just get it done. Like either copy and paste it or do whatever it is, get it done. That's a great, that's a great tool to be working with. Okay, so that's what you're gonna, that's what your promo for July, all right? And so if you get it done, then what you're gonna do is you can share that first with your email, okay? Because again, your email is like supposed to be your, your people that you, that already show that they know, like, and trust you. So you send that, you know, this is a gift for you, just in case, da 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 da, da, da short and sweet, just in case you did da, 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 here's a gift for you. Send it to them. Feel free to share. On that, when you're sharing it, on that share, they obviously have your information where people can opt in to something else that you're getting, opt into your next webinar, opt to your next Zoom call, opt in whatever the case may be. So you create something. And what about you, Jennifer? Is there anything that you can put together that you can give away for free that you can share? Um, maybe just a little, you know, bulletin point of ways to help screen for better tenants or... Um, um, That's a good one. That's a good one. I mean, especially now during COVID, if there's anything has changed, that's what's going to attract a lot of people's attention because they think they knew it before, but now things have changed. They don't even know if courts are open. They don't know if, you know, evictions are happening. They don't know. So, sure. I mean, ladies, I'm saying it doesn't have to be a lot. It can be like one paragraph, the one thing to watch out for in new tenants during COVID or whatever like that. Be that one thing. That's, I would be glad to open up that one thing to see what that one thing is. I don't need to know the 10 things. I need to know that one thing that's going to save you from hiring or from, you know, leasing to the bad tenant or whatever. So that's perfect. That one thing. Um, so Naomi, you're already doing the meditation minutes for free. Yes. Okay. Andrea, what about yourself? Uh, <clears throat> I, that, uh, that just came, uh, that just door just opened. Uh, I was going to do a membership and charge and stuff like that. And then some lady I was trying to raise capital from was like, I really wish I've heard so many things about your class, the flipper class. She's like, I don't need that training, but I just want to be a part of that group of, not, it's not a mastermind. She's in a mastermind. She's like, I want to be in a group that we talk every week and we encourage each other and da, 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 da. And then I was talking to another friend of mine, actually Rochelle Boyer. And she's like, Andrea, do that for free. It's just a funnel for you. It's just a, another way to get more people into your group. So why don't you just offer that as something that you do for free? So I, I want to start that like now where I'm just like, invite anybody in on this Zoom that we do once a week. It's only one hour, 45 minutes long, and we just talk. So could that be your ask, Andrea? I mean, you always started that meetup. Is that, can that, can you incorporate that? Can that be that same movement? I guess I could. I, I have to talk to you, but I'm, like I said, I, I'm so close to it all. I'm like, nah. All right, so, yes. So, so yeah. think about consolidating. Think about that one movement. Cause like, you have to think about consolidating. So mm -hmm. that's the same purpose. That one, ask Andrea can be that, the title of this, that gives you some leverage. Like now you can start talking about that, but if you have the leverage of talking about other things as well. And since you already have a little traction for that, you already have it set up, then let that right. be the one thing. You don't need to do another event, you know, another thing for that, really. That could be okay. that one thing. I mean, it's, it's all right. think about that. Think about that, be that free thing, because that's your lead gen. People can come in anytime, any week, consistently, just show up. You know, it means you don't have to show up two or three times for something for free. And it's also, it's already on, it's already on uh, meetup. So then she'll have other people coming because it's on meetup. And so they'll be getting notifications through meetup. So you just change it to a zoom and, and then it, th you can keep doing it on zoom that way. And it becomes the, yeah, thing. With the same 
with the same um, Zoom number, right? Like the same yeah. Zoom yeah. meeting. With the queue. And we just all know to come. Okay, D basically, you gotta tell them how to do the opt in for the people's and addresses, though, for that. Well, what you do is that I do that. I when I do that, I don't put them. I don't let them go to Zoom. I give them to my, an email. I give them the link: first name, last name, email address, a web form that I pull from Infusionsoft. I pull the web form from Infusionsoft. I put it to Bitly link, like small link, short link, and that's what I put into my. Even when I did for Ren, you know, so I don't think they ever liked it, but I didn't have to. They have to RSVP, and that's when they get the Zoom. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you got to do that for the lead gen because the meetup straight just from meetup doesn't. Yeah. Nobody. You can only reach out to them, but you can't get them their names individually. Yeah. Right. Okay. 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 Um, but should I have something tangible, free? I'm that's, sorry. That, that's very tangible. That's just very valuable for one thing. Okay. So that's one thing. Okay. That's one thing. You can have more than one, but that's one thing. What you can do is that take that. That tangible could be that recording from that Zoom, and maybe that chat, and they miss you. They can opt in and you can say that in your meetup. Say, if you can't join us live, register anyway so you can receive the replay. That's the tangible. So even though they, so you don't have to create anything else. If they don't, if they miss it, a lot of people won't even sign up. RSVP for attendance and replay, right? No, I do the replay. I do the attendance like up front. RSVP here, RSVP here. By right. the way, if you can't join us live, sign up, register anyway, and I'll send you the replay. So it's not, I'm not giving them the option up front because I, you know, because they, you know, just don't need to give them an option up front because they know whatever, but I do give them that option or you can do it either way. But I just suggest that you want that to be separate. You want them to opt in, to opt in, try to make it work, but they can't join us live, then register and you'll send them the replay. Okay. That's, that's, that's your, that's your product. That's your product. Repurpose that product. You've done it. You've got, now you should have a library of those products. And what you do is you I, create, do have, I have a lot of stuff. Okay, so I have, to get a, I have to get somebody to clean them up, you know, because okay. no, okay. I'm too rough. I curse sometimes and stuff. Whatever it is, it is. It's, it's, but the thing is, is that you can actually archive them on a page of your website. And so that way now you get, so now when you want to throw a title out there in Facebook or LinkedIn to say, you want to know the top, da, 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 click here. They're going to go to your website and see that they're going to off or first name, last name, email address, get to your website and see your library of archives of your meetups you've already done. And don't worry about the cleanup. I mean, you just think about be conscious when you're doing the meetups, you know, they say what you want to say. If you go to curse there, then people weren't here at curse, you know, Tony Robbins, a lot of people do. So whatever is you, that's you, but that the better that, because I have gotten the same thing. I try to, I've gotten stuff on trying to clean things up and make things pretty, not necessarily just because I wanted to look aesthetically one way and then meanwhile right. it doesn't get out. you know it doesn't get out so it's, it's good for nothing so just from that you get you have your product the video and if you ever wanted to get them transcribed then you can get them transcribed and send it out but the videos of now are fine video and podcasts are fine that's your product that's your lead gen so every if you do that every week every week you have a new lead and they can contact thing for this and for that and so forth and so forth. I right. have a question about that. Yeah. As far as your lead gen, if you don't have a software, what can you do with your current email list to send out an opt-in registration? What kind of form can you use to have them send you their? Yeah, like what? Uh, how, yeah, she uses infusion right. software. That's I'm right. I'm going to suggest that you definitely get a, um, <laughs> a, a, a free. Let me say free MailChimp or whatever the case may be. Okay. But I also, I mean, that's really what my suggestion is. But if you really, let me just find something for you later. I get it. I'm just missing the CRM. That's, and you know, it's becoming a big issue because I'm issue. starting to really raise capital and get more people and get more contacts. And I'm realizing like one lady, the one who wants to do me to do some kind of a meeting every week is like, hey, you know, just following up. And I'm like, oh crap, I totally forgot about her. Because Nika used to be my really good about that. So now I'm trying to do it myself. And it's like, oops, <laughs> I'm going to miss people. Some things will be automated. And that's what the CRM does. It automates, it gets you reminders. It sends you, the, if you put notes, when I talk to people, I put notes in yeah. there. And I oh, know I've used it in sales. Many, I've been in sales my entire life. I'm very familiar with it. And it's just shocking to me that I don't practice what I preach. You know, I don't have one. 
than big. I think I, I think the most I how many thousands I'd have in there by now. <laughs> okay. I think the most important thing is just to pick one, sign up for it. Mailchimp is really easy. Just mm -hmm. start it. You can always transfer your list to a different one in a month or two months or whatever. Mm -hmm. So just start one and and get it going, get your contacts mm -hmm. in there. And then from there you can no more talking, and decide you know, what you need. It. Yeah. Don, hey, can you real quick in your, uh, can you put your email in the chat? Cause I found it and I wanted to forward it to you before I forget. It's there. All right. So the thing is, is that the thing is, is that, um, you know, the longer you wait, the hardest one to be because the more people you have, the more things you have to pull in. So it's always better to do it sooner as opposed to later. I'm just going to show you one. I think I attended to you last week about the, um, um, Neiman Marcus that I got. And so if I have Neiman Marcus, if it's, I don't, um, I'm trying to find the stamp. I, I find their, I, find, I found their responses. So basically if Neiman Marcus that has a larger budget than all of us, these slides, they don't have a CR, but again, I don't know how they do it and what they do in the background, but, I'm, but um, they simply, if you don't, if you can't get into a free CRM, I really don't know what to respond to you for that because you can get a free CRM. Um, but if you can't, for some unforbidden reason, then simply have people send you a, I can't, I can't find it. I don't want to waste some time finding it um, because we're running really out of time. Um, you just go to have people email you. They email me at this thing, thing and they email you and so I will share this really quickly, but again, it's, that's not going to be, it's not worth a lot of conversation about. There's enough free ones there. I would just start and. I have the, the free, the free ones don't have any automation though. So that auto responder, or at least not that I'm. Does it, does it, does it, does it, uh, MailChimp doesn't have a webinar, doesn't have automation. I think they do. I haven't, I haven't used it yet, but I think they do. I've used it and they did. They were able to do an autoresponder. Um, mm, okay. they, so, but anyway, what they did here is that I, I sent an email. They had a list of events and you simply email them for the information. And they sent you an email back, a response back. Thank you for reserving your spot on Neiman Marcus at Home, Beauty Project, blah, blah, blah. blah. We've had 50 products for you. Use this code to receive 50% off. Of course, they're trying to sell you something until a certain date. We hope to see you on the next virtual beauty product. This is the date, the time. And here is the, the email, cosmetics. And thanks for joining at home beauty product. Here's some of our products to give us the opportunity to sell. And that's just the email they gave, they send you. And then yeah, there's another one, I guess, that they sent me with the link to the event, with the link. But that's a responder. I mean, so, so if you can't get something overnight, then and you can literally get on and by tonight have a CRM system, free CRM system working up so you have a web form. And that way all the people you're talking to goes into that form, especially- well, I'm you. doing it. What is that one, GoDaddy Workspace? Um, this oh, is, no, I'm sorry, no, that's your web email, sorry. I'm just showing you an example of a, the worst case scenario, if you really can't get a CRM system, then just tell people to email you. But then you have the labor of having to respond and track them and put them in where they came from. I email an email system. Oh, cool. <laughs> says, yeah, do you want something that just tells you exactly like where things came from, like who came from what and when they came in there? Like I have every date that someone responds, everything you guys respond to, I can go to the tags and I can say, it's my tag. I can say, you know, and again, this is the different types of who they came from and when they came in and your appointments and your people can automatically schedule appointments and they can, and the tags can be, I'll show you some of the tags. Let's see. I mean, for, I, can, I can specialize it from, this is 1 million cups, Irvine, Long Beach, Riverside, San Diego. Um, from every, from every group, Ad Astro Adventures, Adult Entertainment, Advertising, from AEW, from the United Kingdom, from Missouri, from Affiliate, from Africa, from Alabama, from, I have, people that signed in from all these different countries. So I want to advertise something just in Chile. I can just contact people in Chile or Czech Republic or Detroit or England or, you know, France or Germany. And this is why you want to be able to create relationships with people from different countries. So you have a list of those countries, um, international from whatever it is I have from that, from all AEW. Then I also have AEWM, which is the men from these different areas. So these are men that we have 
from different areas and then affiliates and then air conditioning, all the different types of business, April Fool's 2011, April Fool's 2012. I can tell you who was there, who signed up for that. Um, from that, that bankruptcy, I mean, just everything. So I can just pull any list from, this is coffee conversations, every coffee and conversation, I knew who signed up for each one of those coffee and conversations. Um, from celebrations, from CEO space, from, yeah, I'm just from, these are more coffee and conversations. This is, you know, just so you really need to be able to track if I want to reach plumbers, if I want to, this is Desiree follow-up. These are people that I need to follow up with. These are people that my assistant needs to email. This is people from email that sent me something. This is follow-up now, as if contrary to what it looks like. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and like, you know, Desiree, you know, speaking opportunities, Desiree success at sunset follow-up. So there's different events. This is, I don't know, this is Desiree power seven follow-up. This is Desiree and Patty, I don't know what that is. Um, so just yourself or doc, from, it's a person that's in an event with Dr. Jackson, an event with Dream Quest. I mean, you just need to be organized. You, know, yeah. you need to have enterprising women, 2009, 2010, 2011. These are women that, you know, or that organization, I can reach them. These are people tell me more from web pages, people that responded in that they wanted to know more from my web page. So I can contact them and tell them more from the web page. These are other groups, organizations. I mean, so you just need it, just goes on and on and on from foundation that we had a nonprofit, all those people and all the money that they spent. I know who signed up as a five thousand dollar sponsor, signed up as a twenty five. So you really it's really valuable to have this is good Monday morning, the mental debt program for affiliates. These are all the people that I had involved with that. Uh, from your team, from homework from advisory board, from advisory board confirmed, from ambassadors, from bad interests, from becoming a host, board of influence. I mean, just, you have to have everyone organized so you know if I need to pick up the investors or investor potential, I can click here for investor potential. People came to this in dinner, and this came for this lunch, this came to JV partners, okay, to be able to list that. I can put member partners, homework. So this, you need a CRM, this is inner circle that we had. And some of these are way back in, you know, 2009, 2012, but I can still know, I can call them and say, or I can read, send an email, hey, you've been with us since 2009. How are you doing? How are you doing with your business? Do you want to launch in for this? This is LA Business Journal. So you just need a CRM. You'll need to be able to do that. You need to be able to categorize people, where they came from and what they're doing. And if I want to send this, let's talk success. So you get all the different programs, all the different speakers, the live, whatever, I can contact them again, or I can reach them, or I can opt in or opt out of them. So you need that system. Then I can have templates, you know, the broadcasts and the templates of, and send the broadcast to those specific people. I can say, okay, I want to contact all the people that, you know, that does this. And most CRM systems are the same. I mean, all of them should have this basic. I can go to the search. This is the save search because I send all the time. So I can get it there or go back and say, I want to send it to everyone in Germany, you know, and send them an email. And then it takes me through, okay, if I select those people, then the next step would be, you know, I'll just say AEW for now. The next step would be, what do I want to send them? So you can create your email templates. You know, it's so much easier to say, okay, now the next step is hidden someplace here, next. And then where do I want to send them? So now I have a library of templates of my emails that mm -hmm. um, I can just choose a template or I can just go rogue, but I can have all these templates for all these different things, all the templates, coffee and conversations. I've got pages, 407 templates that for one thing or another, whether it's Ren or Ren Partners, thank you speakers and thank you this. And I don't have to do it each time. I can just, let's talk success. I have pages and pages of templates. So I can just say, I'm going to send them Let's talk success, you know, whatever. And then it will pull it up. So I, immediately I can just contact all those people and decide which template it was I wanted to send them, speaker reminder, whatever. Okay, use this. I can use that, you know. And again, I'm just hypothetically using this. And then I can just sit, I can check it out if I want, if I want to make any changes, change dates and so forth. I can do that. And then I, it's already got my signature on it. I can do it next. And then you can simply add a few more requirements, you know, this, this, and this. And then if I want to do it for dates in the, you know, in advance, so I can say, I want to go out Monday, I want to go out Friday, whatever it is, and I just push send and it's gone. And I can schedule it, I can schedule it, you know, the products, my products that I have. I can view all the products that we have and what the prices are, so I can change that in there. I can have it for different users. I can have, you know, just a different price points so that, and I constantly just keep editing to make it short and sweet. But your calendar, and then you can have all your files 
you know, so that your calendar can schedule things. It can have reoccurring events. If I schedule an event, I can schedule a reoccurring event. Um, if I want to have a file, my audio files, my video files, um, it's there. My company, my files, personal files, and my company files, company images digital products, you know, I can just have there. So if one comes in and they bought something, immediately that digital product will just go out to them and then tasks and things of that type. So you really want to have some kind of CRM because like, where are all those people? You know, and that's where we start for the revenue. Because if you have a list, again, if it's something this interesting or even it's a $1 thing, you can actually send out something to say $1. And if you have 100 people, it's $100. If you have 500 people, it's $500. You know what I mean? So this, all of you have a $1 thing. So get started with your CRM. But then I know what we were talking more about was the, and I don't want to get off the chub, it was your what to do. Oh my goodness, the time. Okay, so think of what you're going to give in for opt-in. Consult mm -hmm. that opt-in. With, with a freebie event or something you create from the event. Or you can sit in your computer right now and just make a video. You can hang up the phone and say, hi, this is Nika, and I'm gonna tell you this, this, and this, and this, and this. Click here to find out more. Then you can take that video, that Zoom video, and you can simply go over to Facebook. And that, that, that video, I'm just kidding, I'm just using people randomly, so don't take it personally if I don't include you, but, but, you know, but I look, I'm looking at whoever's coming up. So you go over to Facebook, and then you schedule an event. Like Andrew can schedule an event. She can share an event. And then you just, events are free. So you go in there and you schedule an event. And I haven't done this in a while, but I guess this is what you do. Or I think I'm not on my homepage. I don't know. Page on that. Let's see. I'm on my homepage. And you schedule as an event. So every time you do something, whether it's for free, whether it's for 10 minutes, whether it's for 10 hours, then you put it over here as an event you schedule it as an event mm. find events schedule event how do i schedule event yeah, he's not i totally it. forgot about that i mean i get those and i didn't even think about that yeah okay so yeah so it's just i mean everything every week that you do your meetup every week like, like your 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 uh naomi the problem you're getting that response you got to find a day you got to find even like between now and the end of the month you got to say i'm doing it at 12 noon or i'm doing it at two o'clock you got to have a day and at the days and the time that you do your do to be able to capture the people, because then you could put it here as an event. I do my uh, my motivational minute every day at this time. So you create an event. You just simply go and create an event. Everything you do, I don't care if you're going to do it by yourself. You don't be attached to the outcome, you know. So create a private event, or a public event. Of course, you want to do a private a public event. This is a, only has certain guests. Like if you had a certain group or a Facebook group or a group, you know, to do that. You can also so it's a public event. You go in. And you simply fill in the details you know, of your event. Yeah. And you, I don't know, you put a picture in, change the photo here. You put the name of the event, the event type is online, the location, um, your description could be as short as you want it to be, the category, whatever your drop down category would be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, it could be health, it could be mm -hmm. theater, other. You, when you talk networking, to be a networking, yeah, be whatever you want it to be, and the frequency you want it to recur once, or do you want to recur daily, or do you want it to recur, recur weekly, or do you want to schedule something custom? Then it starts this date, and this starts at this time, rather, ends at this time. Mm -hmm. If you have a co host, this is when you bring in your partners, this is when you and somebody else can do it because then both of you can put it on your pages. Now you've doubled your visibility. You know, because even if for what you're doing, like Dawn, you're doing your spotlight for your people, your spotlight, if you're doing a spotlight interview with somebody, you know, we did our Let's Talk Success interviews and things like that, we'd still put it in as a, we made them our co-hosts because that way their name was going to attract, it goes out to their people as well, it goes out to their page and their people as well. So again, bring in, like even for Naomi, if you're doing it, motivation, hey, you can say, hey, so-and-so, you've been following me for the last five days. Why don't you be my guest? whatever person, my, 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 what do you call it? A hotspot or my guest, whatever it is that, and that they, when they share, cause they're going to, maybe you're going to feature them. Maybe you're going to feature them. I don't, you know, just be creative. If, 
you're in an interview, Nick, Nika, you had different clients that you've done in the past, you know, say, hey, that kitchen that you have, that beautiful picture of the kitchen you have, contact that person and say, hey, I'm showcasing your picture, you know, on my, my Zoom, things like that. Why don't you just come in and, and share the experience with me? You know, and if you do so, you can do again, you can just say one week, ladies, one week, you know, that will give you such visibility because this goes out to your people on Facebook. Everyone's notified. So all of a sudden, you don't have to read something. They're notified of this event. And if it's reoccurring, they can mark it in their calendars. So, you know, we do, um, you know, do that. And there's a schedule and then your keywords. The keywords are huge. I bet some of you are forgetting about your keywords. So is it kid-friendly? Is it volunteer-friendly? And the mission, is there a price? Or let people know how to attend your event. Do they confirm? They can ask guests to reserve a spot and provide additional details to confirm their attendance. First name, last name, email address. There we go. Yeah. You know, I mean, lot of spots you have available, what your custom questions are. Um, you can enable Messenger, whatever way you want to do it. You can create tickets. You can add a ticket link if that's appropriate. And these different options. You know, post permissions only admins can post. Anyone can post messaging and guest list if you want to display a guest list. When you create an event on Facebook, the pages, groups, and events policies apply. So you can either save it as a draft or you can just create it and, and then it goes out. That's cool. Then to say, take that same thing, ladies, take that same information, that same, if you've gotten, uh, if you did an audio or video or like that, take that same information and hop right over for free to LinkedIn. LinkedIn, I just get at this, LinkedIn is where the money is. It's where people that are serious, it's more people that, were, that they, I mean, the statistics have been done already. Uh, come on, let's go. The statistics have been done and um, go over to LinkedIn and simply go to, I mean, that's all you need to do, like even first, if you've got a lot of content to just spend this week doing, um, what do you call it? Um, when you go back, um, what do you call it? Uh, throwback, throwback Thursday. To know, and you can do it every Thursday. And just show something from the past, a blast from the past. So it says, write an article. Take what you've done, what you shared, what you're going to promote for free. Yes. Go over to LinkedIn and then write the article. Post the picture or your, you know, whatever you want, your headline, eat some kind of visual. You just click here and you bring it in and you post it. So it could be in whatever you have in your library. And then you write the headline. This is your topic, your subject line that you put out. Motivational minutes, you know, how, why, what, why it's good for you. Or investing in real estate, starting to invest in real estate. Or trends, Nika, you have the few the trends and stuff, but then do that. I mean, just work that. You know, Andrea, you have your invest with whatever you need more of. So you, just, you have to just be seen in a few different places. You write it here and then you just push send and then they have it and the articles start they archive and so forth so once you've done that with what you already have then you put then you say at the bottom of it um let me show you one of them i think it's Let's say I keep always forgetting what I say. Jason Kellen, Ken, okay, Jason. Oh, what's his name? I always forget his name. C. Roberto, Roberto, not Jason, Roberto. While you're doing that, um, quick question. Mm -hmm. Is it possible to do, and I think this is where I get a little bit thrown, um, like, I, I want to do, I know Instagram's huge. I don't want to miss that, but I want to do Facebook Live, Instagram. Obviously, you just taught us about the meetup. Forgot about that. I mean, not the meetup, the events on Facebook, meetup, LinkedIn. How does all that come together? Like, how do I do one thing and it's everywhere? Is that possible? Yeah, absolutely. So you take the one thing and- like, you Where do I start? Would I do that as a live? Would I do that as well, Instagram? It depends. It depends on whether writing comes first for you or doing it live and having it transcribed, which is easier for you to write the little article first and utilize that as your script like we Definitely did. Definitely talking and having it transcribed. Okay. All right. So then you do the talking. So you do the talking and that's when you do the Facebook live. And then you simply have, now you have the audio and you have the video and you have it transcribed. And so like what he does, like I, I use his example because he has quite, he had a lot of articles. They've changed things again. I think the last time I was trying to find this, I wasn't able to find it. But this is where he puts at the, we put the, uh, um, 
you put the uh, you put the this is where you put the um, uh, clarity at it. So in your Facebook, in your LinkedIn, mm -hmm. in your things you put want to know more mm -hmm. or want time with whether you want a time, whether you want a free, whether you want a, a um, because uh, Naomi, you offer more assessments or whatever, you want to offer assessment with you or, or Dawn, want to, want to get started, want to see how, want to, want to time with, I'm trying to see the different ways of what you want time with or you want to speak more or do you want, do you put it at the bottom of everything that you put out there? And then when you put it at the bottom of everything, they can click there they can click there for the free, but they can click the where is this? They changed it. Where is this articles? And I think last time I was looking for it and I found it when I closed it. The um the articles are all right, so you just put it at the bottom of your articles. I can just I should just show you one of mine, but I just love the way he does. Mark. So you just put it there. So you just start putting it there. It's like, hey, do you want to know more? Do you want to do you want to um, time with? Do you want a free assessment? Do you want a comp do you want a consultation? I'm not saying you have a choice of whether you want to give a complimentary like 20 minutes. We have a choice of whether you want to charge for it. But that's what you do, clarity. And then you also can do that. That's if you want someone from your article to click here and to go to spend time with you. And just to refresh you. Clarity was when, remember the clarity was? And go into clarity, I don't need to go back into it, but go into clarity and find the, um, find the way that you can set it up. You just set it up, it's for free. And that way people can click on there and it can pay for your time, you know? And then if you don't want them to do that, or then if you want something like for Patreon, Patreon for Naomi, when it's a group situation, you can start with, have you been to Patreon, Naomi? Do you know what that is? Yes, okay, so for something like that, I can't hear you, you're muted. I don't know what Clarity is, is that another platform? And look on your Power 7 list, uh -huh. and okay. it's on the Golden Lower Decks. Okay. And it's, it's not, it's Clarity FM. Okay. But for yours, it's more, I think Patreon is more, where Patreon is where people can now, they can sign up and they can describe, subscribe to that. So they can sign up, they can say, um, I want to give you a dollar a week. I mean, a dollar a day or $5 a week. They can sign up. So then that's a gentle way. If you don't want to just do a hard sell, bam, 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 right, right down, that say, hey, if you love what I'm doing, if you love to join us, whatever that, then just engage with us or go to Patreon. Go to Patreon and you'll see lots of examples of how people do it. A lot of people do it for, you know, book groups and things of that type. But that's one way of easing them into a paying process until you get a package together. So like if you just say for the next nine days of this month that you're going to be able to do a Patreon where you actually have people um, actually go into something like that and then they can sign in and then they can actually be giving you a dollar. Then you get them engaged and you're going to get their first name, last name, and email address. And once they're doing that, then you can create a package and your package to be a program. And now you do like again an hour or two hours and you start combining from there. We'll start with that, just that, just that little bit. So for for you, okay, I'm just going to rewind for both of all of you. So, Patty, if yes. you have a few, you just went through a process of how you created the book or whatever that process is. Kind of just tell me what that would be. Like, what would you do that you can get, have someone come to a free email, to a free um, event, a free Zoom event for you, and you'd be able to share with them? Um, I, it's very hard for people to actually get a book published because you got to put in CEO words and stuff like that. I could go through and teach people how to actually publish a book. Perfect. Okay, so like, how, who would find value in that? How many people would like to know? You know, yeah. and, it could be anything, an ebook, something that you want to get onto Amazon or other things. Yeah, because it would save you a lot of time instead of studying to figure it out, how to pick your niche, all that. So all you need to do is make it really simple. I mean, you don't need to tell them, like they don't need to tell them so much that they're actually going to walk away with a book, whatever. You yeah. need to do it conceptually. So if it's the 10 steps or the 12 steps, whatever that is, then you can simply do, you can either create like on Canva, a PowerPoint. 
you know, and some people have the PowerPoint, but for a long time, I didn't use PowerPoint. So to me, it just was more work and I could just talk to people. So you can just say, okay, number one, you do like number one, you do this. Uh-huh. That. And then number two, you can do this. And then if they want more information, then they can, you can give them more information, like a, a freebie. But if you have a freebie or if you have a list that you're going to use for your notes, the yeah. best is I start doing them as my notes. If I'm doing my notes and my notes say that this is number one, I just put it on a, a PowerPoint like I did for the Power 7. Just create a kind of a little picture for that. But that's it. And you can go, and you, now you can send an email out to people, invite them to this event. You can put it in your Facebook as an event. You can put it in your LinkedIn as an event. If you decide you want to do it consistently, you can do it as a meetup. But I would start with just those things. Once you get those people in there, you can say, I work, even if you say, I work with you privately. And this yeah. is my message, you know, and it's, and it's uh, and schedule appointments with them. And then there's appointment things you can schedule, which is like um, Calendly, you know, and they have a free version. Calendly. You can also use Calendly for um, your social media as well. If, they, if you just want to say, hey, you want to spend some time with me, schedule an appointment. If you want to do it for free, you know, again, a 10 minute yeah. get to know intro, whatever call the next is calendar. It's a free version. You can just get it, put the link in your social media and people just click and they make appointments with it. I use calendar when I first started and I went to when people have their birthdays and they celebrate on Facebook, they say this is someone's birthday, occurring relations. I had someone take my calendar link and a word that says, hey, congratulations on your success of your business. If you want to spend a few minutes talking about, you know, how I can support you or how you can, I can show you how you can grow your business, then click here. And a lot of people from just, they just, they just it was a birthday gift. My birthday gift to you or my congratulations gift to you is this. And, you know, and, and it was, and it was, I got, I mean, just from that, I got so many leads that I just finally had to stop it because I'm getting so many leads. You know, of course, people just, all we did is copy and paste it to everyone's birthday you know, or everyone's congratulations on your business anniversary. So that's the number one you can use the calendar link. Yeah, and Udemy does that too, where you can do like a brief overview, but then if people want to meet up with you and have more specific to them, you could do something there too, I've heard that. Which one? Udemy. Udemy. It's like a, it's like a class is online. You, you, yeah, you can make your, like, you can make a class out of that. That's awesome. You know what, yeah. I would, Patty, would, I thought would be really good for you because for me, it's a hot topic. I think for most entrepreneurs is, you know, a lot of us have wanted to write a book or have something to say business-wise or otherwise. And I struggled a lot with um, ghostwriting. Like I didn't even know that existed. And then when I found out it did, it's like, well, how do I find the right person to help me write that book. And I don't know if you do that, but that's a really good topic about, you can write a book and you don't even have to write it yourself kind of thing. Yeah, isn't that great? Yeah. Because everyone I, gets really freaked out. Most people aren't good writers and they're just, you know, ask them to write a birthday card and they pass out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So to me, that's like a big topic. If you were like, hey, you can, if you got something to say, you, you can be the author without being the author. You don't have to sit there in front of your computer. I just thought that would be a good one. Because I would watch that. Okay. Yeah, that so, would really be good. Thank okay. you. Yes. Okay. That's what you can do, and you can make sure that you invite all of us, and we'll go and show up as well, as well as your email list, and as well as your Facebook, and as well as your LinkedIn. Put it on that, and you'll get some responses from that. And again, if it's five people show up, it's okay, because now what you do is you record that information, and now you have information that you can use as a freebie. Hey, do you want to video on how to do da 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 da? And then people, that, and then also remind that they can't show up live then to register anyway, so they can send them the recording. And that way you actually have the people to build up from that point on. And yeah. then, okay, so then, okay, so then Andrea, you know what you have, your next call to action is just take one thing. You've got so much, but take one thing. I think she's walked away from it, so I'll go to Dawn. So Dawn, you got that list, that PDF. So you can start with that. So you can put that article about, you know, in LinkedIn and in Facebook to say, hey, and then just, you have a great, you know, you know Zoom inside and out, so you have a great presence. Them just be able to do that. Do this could be five minutes, you know, five minutes video. It doesn't have to be a very long thing. But now you have a product that people can opt in for and you can send it to them. You have a product that once you want to continue doing that, you can actually start engaging people into for free, then for a low cost, and then for the bigger cost. Nika, you have the trends and so forth like that. So you can create it in a PDF or you can create it in to an individual. Again, it can be someone the video without anybody there and just say hey this is what this and this is what that or you can do it with someone and invite people to attend lives up to you 
what you can do, but you can just create something that way you have that trend. And I have you, an idea for Nika. She could be the trendsetter. I think if she does a trendsetter, she can just do one trend a week, every week, just do a trendsetter. And, and it, 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 it's, it's like, she's a great trendsetter. And then the trend now for kitchens, the trend now for bathrooms, the trend now for colors, the trend now for tiles, the trend now for flowers, the trend now for indoor, you know, all these different trends. You're the trend. Oh, I was thinking the designer tips because there's unlimited ones of that, you know. You know what, Nika? You know how you were saying that revenue, you know, we all would like to have a little cash flow right now. Um, mm. <laughs> I have an idea for you. It's something I thought of doing before, but again, it like Desiree said, stick with your lane, whatever you're trying to achieve. Don't gear over here like I always do, right? Why don't you do, you know, you're like, what do I get? What, what is my buy up? What is my thing that I'm going to, okay, I think your thing should be, since we're COVID and everyone's working from home, it should be having um, like not just a comfortable, uh, like your work environment, having the right backdrop like I do, having a dope desk that has all your favorite things on it that's like, you know, that fits into the house because most people don't have an office. So like me, my living room is my office. So my desk is pretty and looks good and it has decor on it and it and it kind of flows to into my living room and my kitchen because it's all one room do you know what i'm saying so like if it was just a whole like i will to come and design or even you don't even have to go there if they just sent you pictures you could just like order everything and have it delivered and do a one install day or just have everything delivered to them like a, a really dope looking chair and some really cool you know, like I don't use a regular pen holder. I have this really cool glass thing because this is my style. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it's aesthetically yeah. in the back and then the, this their work environment, this whole thing related to whatever it is that their style and then whatever it is they do for a living. I would do something like that because you could do quick offices for people or workspaces rather and make money quickly and not too much money. And you can almost do it virtually. Don't you well, think? Yeah. Okay. Start off with this as well, though, ladies. Um, which which one is getting? Just gonna do a quick poll. Which one would, do you prefer, or you think this sounds coolest for now? Tips or trends? Trends. trends. Tips is old. Tips is old. I would, I would try to stay away from the try to tips. I mean, people want to know the trend. What's trending now? They want to be hip. They want to be cool. It sounds. Yeah, that's a hipper name. Hipper term. Trends. I can give you a tip, but I can't give you the trend because I don't have that information. I don't have that knowledge of it. But what you're doing is that even if it's like, so one example, one young lady, she has from, she does young living and she puts all these different young living things in her drinks. And so what she does is she simply, she makes a drink every day. I said, so this record, you can make it. How smart. It's, it's a drink. We have her iPhone on a little thing, you know, that is it, whatever. And she puts, okay, now I'm putting in this, I'm putting in that, I'm putting in a little jasmine, I'm putting in a little orange juice and this like that. And so of course people want to make that drink. So they buy the stuff that she makes. It's as simple as that. They buy, okay, where, where did you get the, the um, she did something the other day with lemon drops and because it's anti, you know, the, um, you know, they build your immune system because of the COVID. And so she had all these different things that build your immune system that she put with orange juice and this juice and that juice and people wanted to buy it. And she has a kit that they sell for $75. It has a oh. little, I bought it. I have the kit that has a little bit of samples of all these different oils. So I'm going to pay $75 because I don't need to buy, you know, this one and this one. I don't think I'm going to use that much, but I pay $75 to get this a little bit of everything so I can put it into my juices. Sounds like it. Uh, and I have a lady that is doing that with gardening. So she's telling you how to make different sprays for different bugs and different uh, weeds and, and to improve the soil around certain plants. And so she's done a whole series on a Facebook group for gardening with uh, with the young living essential oils that's really hot because that's everyone's right now with covid going you know i need to start having my own little fresh garden because there people are starting to recognize that we're getting to that water is going to be an issue seeds and and what do you call it sustaining your own living yeah. buy a gardening kit right. yeah. so, i would love i love the idea of just even if you're doing something visual if you just said okay today i'm going to show you how and change now how they're changing out this changing out canister, they're changing out on my countertop you know putting this here this there like i said andrea workspace people now having to work from home people are not having to do whatever it is or the colors what colors you like best this color this color this color you know that people get involved and so forth so it could be again short five minutes and you know if you don't have time to do it five minutes every day then do a lot of five five minutes and then you bank them and you share them every day and you ask for that for that from that point on so don't yeah. 
Yeah, you could be an affiliate too with um, Amazon and, you know, you have them link onto the products that you're using. Like if you send it out, lay it an email, and then you get, you know, commission for that. So you would actually list all the products and just become an affiliate, put your number with it and link it. So you get a commission. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, yeah exactly. I mean, because that way people can know. I and mean, you see that, especially if you make a YouTube video. So you do something on like Facebook Live, right? Mm -hmm. You simply upload it to YouTube. So you have a YouTube video. And you have a YouTube playlist. And it's different playlists for different things. And, and so we have different playlists. Some can be, we have one for Power 7, one for Less Hall Success, one for different things of that type. So in the descriptions, you can also have your contact information, but also have, this is what I use. You want to find out more about this product or that product or that product as well. And then you can do the same thing on Facebook, the same thing on your, in your events, you know, in your events in that description, you can even put your, your, your link, you can put the hyperlink there, make short links. If it's a long link, then put a small link in. If it's in your, in your article, where the heck is this thing? The, um, I know I, last time I was looking for it and as soon as I closed out, I saw it. I said, darn it. And then, and I said, it was so obvious and I don't know where anyway. Anyway, um, but you can put that in your social media. You put that in your things. Let me see what mine says. And so, and then you just put it there. And then they say, hey, do you want to know more about this product that I'm using? You know, and just click here to find out. And um, I can't even find my articles. Hmm. Is it in the work? They've moved the bats in the grid on top. Where is it? Uh, Where, uh, you know, the blue line on top where it says post a job next to it, where it says work. Is there a drop down there? No, no, up higher, up higher. Yeah. Uh, where it says me and then next to it work. Not, not that one on that one. What's that mean? Let's see, does it have your articles? No. They, they just did something. I'll find it. I'll make sure that I save it to my memory, if nothing else there. But you go to your articles and then you just, um, you know, put it through. So just just start with that. Um, Jennifer, what about yourself? She mentioned she was going to do that article and so forth. So if you leave. She had to leave. Okay. So if you do that and you do that and you do that campaign, do your own campaign this month. We got nine days left. And you do that and then you immediately say you express interest in this. What about this? You can welcome the next step and that would be income generating, to generate income. Right. The 999. If you do like four videos, if you do four a series of four or five of anything, like if Dawn did one with the list, I'm gonna say another one with how to get started, another one with this. Don't worry about what the content is. Like you know, you know more than remember my story about the people that taught the dance lessons to the kindergartens. There's people that don't know even how to spell investor. So you get the people that are very beginning. So then get that, then you have a package of four videos that will tell you how to do this, how to get started as an investor, how to get raised capital, how to do this or this or this. And once you do those videos, you can charge me if it's this $9.99. Okay, then we can show you where to put that out there on $9.99 and then you start selling it from that. And that's how you start building this revenue. Or you may decide I'm gonna make it a membership group and I'm gonna do this every week and to be my VIP member. Andrea's doing this event for free, it's easy for her to create a private membership group. I say, hey, I got a VIP private membership group where I go deeper into the deals, you know, where you can actually come to the deals and it's only X amount of dollars a month. Remember I showed you that guy that, you know, for the $9.99, they make him, he has 700 people signed up a month at $9.99 for his podcast. So it doesn't have to be a physical product. You can just have him come up and you can sign him to a private meetup group or a private Zoom group. For $9.99 a month, they could come up for every week and go through a different thing. And just take that information for, again, everybody will pay nine, $10 a month to hear how to become an investor, or how to learn how to write a book, or how to design their homes. You know, they can. I have a question about that. Yes. If they sign up for that private Facebook group, do you have to come on live to do that, or can you put already produced you can do content? Yeah. Sign up for your program it could be either way. It could be a live program or it could be something that you just have like a, a page where you have the access to the videos. Like I can go to Core Power Yoga and they have the videos there. So I paid $14.90, whatever this month now because of COVID. 
Uh, they want to keep us engaged because usually it's $150 a month, but they want to keep us engaged so they reduce it to like $14.95 or whatever it is. So I have their videos. I can go through their videos and I can watch do any yoga thing from the videos. They just have can a posted on Facebook Live, Facebook as a private VIP group. Can you put that link in there or show it on there through that? I would, I would not have a class on that. What I would do is I, I would have the promo on that, but then I would go to, I would, you can go to, um, you can go to someplace else to have the actual, because I would, or you would want to, you'd want to archive them someplace and you can't really archive a lot of them on Facebook. I and mean, that's not really a place that I think that I would do it. What I would do is I would, <clears throat> you find a, a, or a, a page on your, um, uh, cool. I think you, what you can do for something like that is you can get a subscription type of thing and you can do it through your CRM or through uh, some kind of pay system CRM type thing. And so when they opt in for that for pay and pay, then they get a email saying join our private Facebook group but when you are going on your lives and when you're going into Facebook um, and your LinkedIn and your YouTube you can say join our um, we have a like we have a um, private Facebook group and make it like a, a club and then people are wanting to go and do that and so then they you know subscribe to it and and so then you have little things that you give them that is not something that you have on your regular Facebook, but you can also just have engagement on that private group as well. That's so separate from the engagement. other. The private group is primarily for engagement, not I, the content. I have a private group for people that, that just pay for something. So you can put like, we put our Power 7 recordings in our Facebook group. So the public can't get to it, but anyone that's a member of Power 7, they can get to the, those things. So okay. you can either have it into your Facebook group that's like what John said or you can have a if you want to get to a website have a page on your website where you just have the recordings they can just kind of go in and select the ones they see and that's valuable because they can just go in at their free, you know, freedom and see what you're doing or how you're doing it and and then they can use charge people for that Once so the want, purpose of a private Facebook group is more to have a community build a community and a captive audience to promote your other services not to have the services on that page necessarily you can do it for both i mean you can use a i mean facebook openly is to promote your services and then people pay for your service i mean some people do a free facebook groups you know so i mean whatever so if you do free just to have people in and be able to nurture them and promote them you can do that way get them in your facebook group and that way you can just have to people that you know you can promote to or on Facebook and have that private group as a private group, or you can have both. You can have more than one Facebook group. You know, we have one for Power of Seven, then we have one for Less Talk Success. Mm -hmm. So Less Talk Success could be people that have signed up for that program. They can see the videos. They can, you know, ask questions and so forth. And then we have one for Power of Seven. So you can have one for paid. You know, people that where you put information that they paid for these videos, they pay for your meditations, they pay for it because once they're they don't want to have to search all through your Facebook posts to find them, right? Yeah. So, Go, I become a member of her Facebook group, I can find all the meditations she's done, all the different days and times and so forth. And I'm going to pay $9.99 for that because it's worth it to me mm -hmm. you know, to be part of that, you know, that one group. And you can put it there, you can house it there, or you can house it on your website, whatever. You, can you just upload it straight to your Facebook group and it holds that much? Uh, the bandwidth as we do, we have a lot of Power 7s for years. So I don't know what the you know the bandwidth is. I don't know how much storage space yeah. you, have, you know there, but you do have you do have ability of doing that because we have our recordings archived there. <laughs> God bless you. Excuse me. You know, Desiree, you can find your articles in LinkedIn on that little icon that said me, and then you you go to yeah, they're saying yeah, go to the thing up on top that says me. Uh, to the to the right, to the right, to the right, up there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It works. And then it says that you have to. Ooh. It says you have to click view profile. So view profile. View profile is up or here. Post an activity. Post an activity. It says wait, view act, and then scroll down. Post and activities. Yeah, it should be there. Well, I'll find it. I'll find it. I know that her. always throws me. That LinkedIn articles, articles are. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've, yeah. 
Yeah, that's uh, an odd place to put it. But yeah, 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 yeah it is. It's weird, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah. Because when someone first comes to your LinkedIn, how do they oh, see? That, that? Yeah, how are they gonna find that? It's it, not I think yeah. it. I think it runs on your feed when you're doing an event, so they should see it. It should be announced on your feed. You probably have to announce it a few times, right? Well, it should be. It used to be just there who would read your article. So I'll yeah. just. But this is again, like I was saying, so you can do the information. You can do a short article on something. This is like learn how to buy. Oh, well, there it is. And then you can just actually, you know, have don't miss this event RSVT today. Bring a company, have them click that. You can hyperlink that to wherever your shopping cart is. Yeah. Well, I guess we haven't used that. That's that's event is past, but we had a shopping cart, whatever that shopping cart was there. Thank you for finding that. It's just and then I gotta find the other ones that have it's sort of hidden, yeah. Okay, so ladies, I just I just about to get started I need to know because I want to do a testimony. I need Dawn's testimony. I think everyone else's testimony. And um, and then um, you know, and then so this gets started. This gets started. But think about what every time you decide to do something else, if you just do this outline, every time you decide to do something, you say, okay, is this bringing me to my goal? Is this bringing me to my goal right now? And if it's not, put it on the side. If it's not bringing you the revenue or the list building, or the credibility, or the visibility, then put it to the side. Yes, so make yourself some buckets, folders, whatever you want to do it, and whatever something comes up, you would get ready, and your next action you're going to take after you leave this, this class, what are you going to do? What's CRM, CRM for me. Okay, there you go, and just do it. CRM databases, I'm going to put them all together in an Excel sheet that's done properly and um, I'm going to get all my content from everything even the even like when I did yours do I can I get the video for yours absolutely mm -hmm. yeah um, and then I'm just going to clean them like spend time what instead of network net Netflix time as I call it I'll just sit there and just like clean them up as much as I can just a little bit just a little bit as you can but you know hey this is in the raw I'm sure it's raw live from whatever the case yeah. may be I mean, yeah. it's better than not I like when it. you said that. Just announce it that way, set the expectation, and it becomes actually unedited. <laughs> yeah, unedited. unedited. Unedited Andrea. I like it. Andrea unedited. Yes. That's hilarious. Andrea unedited. That's it. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Woo. That's it. Just get it out and share it. And then as you go forward, you'll clean up the rest of the ones. You'll clean up the rounds because you'll be more conscious of what you're doing and what it's, the purpose is. But just get it out there and do a throwback, do a throwback, you know, do a throwback Thursday, do a throwback, whatever, and just start going back to the good old times, you know, and sharing the stuff, the old stuff. And then at the end of it, you want to know, you want to contact Andrea now, or you want to join us for this. So the open action, nothing goes down without a call to action. What they can do for free or what they can do for a fee. Everything that goes out gives them that option. So. Naomi set up a Patreon account. That's a really easy, it's free for you. The people that are watching it, hey, you want to you know, support me in my efforts of that? So that way you get used to them, change that mind, that, you know, reframe in the fact that you're charging them for anything that you have to, otherwise you can't sustain. And they respect you more and they'll have more value to what you're giving them. And they'll sign up for more if they'd like to be. So that's, you gotta get, they got to register now for something for free so they can go to your list or they've got to, or you've got to um, get them into pain, and it's okay, they don't mind. Okay, and then so Nika, you know what you're doing, and Patty, you know what you're doing. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you're doing. Okay, I wrote a lot down, <laughs> I got a lot to do. <laughs> just, just take one thing and just like, well, what are you gonna do today? Just, <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> Can't do everything. So this time I'm glad well no, but I mean this this definitely helped today. It was very like, okay, at least it gave me some clear action items. I, I felt like I was sort of all over the place. So the, well, one thing feeds to another. Like I showed you like that my, my I did my power seven, my homework and my let's house success. See what supports each other if you have more than one thing. And if it doesn't support it right now, which is the key word right now. So I think when people feel they have to put something to the side that they can't do it, and, oh, I really wanted to do the magazine, or oh, I really wanted to do this. It just means like right now. You can't eat everything in the world that you like right now, right? You can't eat every food you have right now. You have to decide on what food you're going to eat today. You can't eat every favorite food right now. They can't do every favorite thing right now. Just take one. 
and dive deep on that and enjoy that and get that going. Then you can do the other one and it'll start coming easier and easier. Then you start blending them in all when we reach that same pot. Has, has anybody read The One Thing by yes. Gary Keller and Jay Papasan? Well, I've basically read the most, that's I've read a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, basically that's the idea is um, what can I do today that will make everything else simpler or um, or not necessary going forward. Because what you'll find out is that a lot of times we're doing a lot of these things for more revenue, but if we make a big buck from revenue from doing that one thing, then you know, it's like, okay, you know, what do I need to do now? Do I really need to do all these other things to do it? So you kind of really kind of gives you an opportunity to do that. But just use the tools. You've got the tools. You've got the knowledge, ladies. And, and, and keep it simple. All right? Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do, I need to do, I want to do a testimonial from Dawn. We have to finish our project today. I got a project I'm going to finish this week, which is the Power 7 um, funnel. So I'll let you know how that works out. One thing. Yay. That one thing. You know what? But there's people that are making millions of dollars with one thing. There's a young lady that's doing the um, crash course from, course from, uh, course from, what's her name? Uh, Gabrielle. Anyway, she makes over $4 million. All she does is sell a course, uh, you know, online course. That's all she does. That's one thing. So, you know, you know, a lot of people have started with one thing. So. That's it. It's good enough. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for hanging in there. I hope this helps you. And good luck. And I will see you next week. Thank next you. Week. All right. Ladies. This is awesome. See you tomorrow. All right. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. So the tomorrow, who's our speaker tomorrow for Coffee and Conversation? Nika. And what are you what are you speaking on, uh, uh, Nika? Uh, it's on um, six. Well, I guess now I should change it from tips. <laughs> yes, no tips. Well, actually, it wasn't tips. It was tricks. But <laughs> I changed it to trends. <laughs> the trends too. Well, it's yeah. I, I mean, but they're not trends though. Trends to me is like you know, know there's specific it. things to do in each room though so it's like well i think it was a i think uh, you'll have to see it. i don't have it right in front of me right now but the emails going to go out now but it's like the maybe the six i think it's the six things designers i have to figure out what it tricks, is tricks tricks is good too six I, I, designer I, tricks that everyone can know tricks is good i like tricks tricks is good. Yeah. six exactly. designer tricks that um that the pros you know don't usually tell you i forget the exact title but that's good. Way, I'm inviting join friends. Us, join us tomorrow. Join us tomorrow <laughs> as Nika presents to us that information and share with her friends. So you should take, I'm going to send you the email, but you should take that and put it on your Facebook group as an event. Nika? Yes. It's an event. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Me tonight. Or, yeah. Share it on LinkedIn because if people want to know that you're speaking and you're presenting in different places, yeah. and that's all credibility, right? Credibility. She's speaking here. She's speaking there. She's being interviewed here. She's being interviewed there. She's done a presentation here. She's done a presentation there. I mean, I see this guy. I was telling you, he's at all these different places. He's still look here, here. I'm like, gosh, I still go to those places too. And I never think about putting it up. You know, like small LA Business Journal and SBA. And we've all spoken to a million different things, online and offline. We don't use it in our credit, credit creds. Right, right. Yeah. Creds out like they like some rock star, but it's like nothing that no one, anyone could do. So. You need to, that's your credibility, that's your cred, so to share it, okay? okay? All right, it's free, then as well, might as well share something that's for free before you charge them for a fee. So people are not going to be mad at you for sharing them, inviting them something that's free. Yeah. They'll okay. be mad if you didn't invite them for free. If you invited them for something, you had something going on, you didn't invite them, then I would be hurt. Yeah, we'll send it out so I can get it out to people. Okay, so. we'll do. Okay, thank you, ladies. Have a good one. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. So Dawn... Um, I'm going to end this and then I will, I guess. And I then, and then what do I do? I'm going to end this and then uh, let's see what I was having difficulty with. I'm going to end, should I end this? Well, I wasn't recording this. I guess I could just start. Oh, it says it's recording up in the corner. Mm -hmm. It was recording before I even came on actually, or when I first came on, I was the first one on and it was recording and I'm like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. So, Thing. Well, okay, okay, it's recording. Okay, so then I'm going to stop that recording. All right, stop the recording.